Welcome back everyone, my name is Nancy and today I'm going to be cutting a steep bevel on the underside of my dining table. My dining table is 45 inches in diameter and it's very heavy, so I'm going to cut it right here on this table using a router, placed at an angle like this, and I'm going to go back and forth like this all the way around the perimeter. Let's get started. I'm going to modify the swing arm that I used to cut the circle table by cutting it shorter and adding a ramp. It's an awkward angle to cut on a miter saw, but I only need to make one set and as long as they match, it's okay. I mark out where I think the router bit needs to travel and cut out a big hole with a Forstner bit. There, perfect. Then I make the edge guides to keep the router from going side to side while still allowing it to go up and down. Here's a close up of the router bit pointing at an angle. Since I have no way to clamp the circle down because I'm swinging the arm all the way around, I make use of some grippy rug pads that I saved. The added friction keeps the piece from moving around too much. As I'm making the first cut, I learned that it's hard to hold the router in place while moving around in a circle. I need some sort of way to clamp down the router. So I trim away some of the edge guide and install a hold down clamp. The clamp doesn't hold the router perfectly still, but it provides enough friction so I don't have to work as hard against gravity. As the layers get wider, I learned that it's easier to make several back and forth motions around an arc of the circle rather than running around and around. Finally, I get to stain, but don't do what I did, especially if you're working with maple. Use wood conditioner first. The finish turned out really splotchy, and I ended up having to sand it all down, pre-finish it with pre-stained conditioner, and then apply gel stain on top. 